said last. What what didn't work, Andrew? Um, it was chaotic. Yeah, but what didn't work? Uh, my bucket. Fell. The bucket fell off. Nathan, what didn't work last week? How many times did you tell me? You couldn't get the bucket on right. 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 So I never taught anybody how to actually use this coupler with the bucket. What happens if that bucket falls off? What can it do? It kills, it kills someone. Gas Quite literally kills somebody if that bucket falls off. So that's why we're here today is how do we take this bucket off of there? So first thing is everybody come here and look at this. See this little thing right here? That little thing is designed that when the bucket is out, it falls and this cannot come up. See, this thing is what locks on this pin. You see that? Mm -hmm. So if you try to take this bucket on or off while it's out at all, it won't work. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You have to have the bucket curled the whole way over for that thing to fall out of the way. So this piece will move so it attaches onto here. Every single time you curl this bucket and there's pressure put on the piston, it pushes on this. Every time you're using it, all the time. And so if you don't get it to click, it will never click, right? Because it's continually pushing. Does that all make sense? Is that all clear? So right now, the way it's sitting, as you can tell, it's down. Right here, if I were to curl this out and then try to unlock this, it won't unlock, right? Because this little pendulum will swing and it won't bring this up which causes you not to have the bucket on right and then you swing and it goes off so now we know how this little piece works now what's the procedure for taking a bucket on and off so the beeper in this thing beeps right so i'm gonna do it you guys stand over here and you watch me you're probably back here nathan so everybody knows where the switch is Everybody come look at the switch. It's right here. That's the switch. When you hear the beep, see how it's coming up? Do you see how when I roll, when I roll the bucket in, it pushes harder? Like I was talking about, right? Does that all make sense? Actually, let's do this. Go out there and get a video of it. See how it's pinching it? it was locked we do never move from the position until it's tested that it's locked there is another way to test that it's locked you don't have to hit the ground because you can't always hit the ground right obviously you cannot do that if the bucket cannot drop there but you don't move to test it so it's very important, wherever we lay the bucket, it's a place that we can always test the bucket. Does anybody have any questions? What's really important is for all you guys, when anybody's running this machine and you see him take that bucket off, you make sure he tests it. And if he doesn't test it, you get after him. Because if it's one of your lives or a gas line or something. But it works really easy, doesn't it? 
Mm -hmm. Everybody get it? Yeah? Okay, cool. Knock that off. Last thing for the safety is never leave the bucket up. Never get out of the never get out with the bucket up. Um, 